Greetings fellow programmers, my name is Pavel and I'm going to show you a C++ exercise. This one is for beginners. We will be writing a, writing a simple program that will ask the user how many software units were sold. Now the normal price for one unit is $99. If a negative value is entered then the computer will respond that it is an invalid response. For other entry, entries the program must calculate a price break. So if you sell 0 to 9 full price is being uh, calculated. If you sell 10 to 19, 20% break from the, uh, from the $99. Uh, if it's 20 to 49, you get 30% break. And all the way to when you sell 100 or more, you get 50% break from the 40, 40 $99. So you get half of it. Uh, so um, this is fairly straightforward. This is the uh, intended output uh, let's say if you say negative 2 for unit sold it says invalid response run again if you say uh, 5 then hey that's the full price because uh, you don't get any break and 0 to 9 we get full, full price which is $99 so you basically multiply 5 by 99 and you get 495 if you sell 19 units uh, 19 units is 20% break so uh, the, uh, the software unit sold would be 10 uh, uh, as the as the input uh, and then you calculate the price per unit uh, would be 7920 because it's 20 percent of 99 I suppose uh, and then you will calculate the total balance due all right so um, first thing I'm going to do the include and uh, gonna be IO stream. I'm also going to include the IO manip because we are going to be formatting the output into into columns as you could uh, like this. So I'm going to be using the set with uh, fixed and all kinds of things. So um, another one will be using uh, namespace. STD and that's really I think all we will need so uh, we have the unit price which is $99 so I'm gonna do it constant integer unit price equals 99 and um, another variable I, I'll do is the units sold that's gonna be in initialized to zero and I will do float final price that's after the discount is applied 0, 0.0 yeah whatever it's a, it's a float and um let's the, the output i mean inputs see out how many software units were sold and we will store the uh, input in rc in which is unit sold so we ask the question user enters a number we'll store it into unit sold now we have to make sure that this is not a negative number if it is we have to uh, quit the program so if the units sold is less than zero technically we should probably do less or equal to zero because there's no point of calculating anything if you sell zero uh, units right so equal or less than zero then we will output c out uh, invalid response run the program again now if everything's correct if the unit sold is uh, at least one then we will proceed and we will do our calculations so now what do we have we have the breakpoints so uh, let's uh, calculate the actual price now the way i'm gonna do it is uh, i'm starting from the highest possible because that way i don't have to do all the if statements i can just do if else uh it's gonna be more uh kind of fluent you'll you'll see uh when i i will explain why it's better to start from the top to the bottom than the other way around 
So uh, within our else statement here, I will do another if statement. So if units sold is greater or equal to 100, then we'll get a 50% discount. So our final price will equal to the units unit price divided by two, 50% uh, price, right? So that's that's simple. Uh, that's that's the discount. So we get 50% uh, price to pay for our for our units, but we still have to multiply it by the units sold to get the total that we have that we owe that the total that is due. This calculates the discount. Let's say the well the price is 99, so um, it's a uh, 50% from of uh, 99 and multiplied by the units sold. Now, so that's if the, uh, we sell at least 100 units. Now, if, or else if, the uh, units sold, the next break starts when we sell, uh, when we sell 50 to 99. So, so we start from 50. So if the unit sold is greater or equal to 50, then our discount is uh, 40 percent right so uh, our final price equals unit price now 40 percent is the discount which means we pay 60 percent of the original price so rather than going around trying to calculate the percentages you know uh, with the discount let's get the actual price which is 60 percent of the of the unit price so we'll simply multiply it by 0 0.6 and uh, that will give us the discounted price and we will again just multiply it by the units sold so another else if if the units sold is uh, another br pri price break starts at 20 when we sell 20 to 49 so if it's greater or equal to 20 then our final price equals and again 20 percent discount means we pay 80 percent of the original price so unit price multiplied by 0 0.8 and all that multiplied by unit sold to give us the total due and uh, there's one more when we sell 10 to 19 we get a 20 percent break so uh, else if the units sold is greater or equal to 10 then our final price equals and once again that 10 percent discounts mean 90 percent of the price so 0 0.9 that gives us the discounted price and the units sold and finally if it's a less than 10 which is just as l statement then our final price simply equals the full price which is uh, the unit price multiplied by units sold no discount all right so uh, that's how we call the that's for the calculations now let's do the uh, the formatting so um, since I'm going to be formatting kind of uh, globally so to speak I'm going to uh, create my uh, kind of template so I'm gonna do C out. I'm gonna set precision for all the numbers to two. It means that to two decimal places. I will use set fill, which uh, basically fills. Uh, if we set with the width, let's say to 25, and you have only two characters, then it will fill it with 23 of whatever you set it to. And I'm gonna set it just for visual. I'm gonna set it to a star. So whatever the space in the filling. Uh, will be will be a star this way you will be able to see how the text actually flows and since we are doing uh, uh, fixed numbers with set pre precision to two I will also set everything to fixed all our numbers okay so uh, let's do the first one so C out and if you look at the columns we have basically three columns we have this uh, on the left with the with the text then on the second and third row we have the, the dollar sign 
and then we have the actual numbers so the first column I will move to the left and I will set the width to uh, 25 probably is enough and uh, I will do the first software units salt so that's the uh, that's the first column the, the, that's this portion now we have this one has only two columns so now we have the uh, number of units sold so it's gonna be uh, I'm gonna move that or format it to the right because like you can see there all the numbers uh, kind of flow to the right the, this text flows to the left these are formatted uh, on the right side so I'm gonna move it to the right I'm gonna give it a width of 10 and I'm gonna place the units salt to it and that's the first line I'm gonna copy it because the other two they will be a little different but uh, uh, not too much so I'm gonna just copy it and um, so it starts to the left we have 25 uh, what what do they want us to do? They want us to price per unit. So let's call that price per unit. Price per unit. Now we technically didn't really uh, get the price. We just get we just got the balance due. That's what we calculated. Um, so maybe we should uh, probably get the price per unit, which is basically this portion, the unit price multiplied by the. Uh, the actual number um, so I'm going back you know I'm gonna do it that way I'm gonna place all this over here and um, on the top I'm gonna create float price per unit I would probably call it uh, not price per unit but the uh, discounted price uh, I'll initialize it to zero so remember it's a float so um, over here I will do the discounted price equals and this portion will be the discounted price we don't need the parentheses so our final pr price now instead of using the whole calculation unit price divided by two I will simply use the discounted price variable that we calculated here and now I will have access to it and I can actually put it to the output. Um, I didn't read the instructions too good, I guess. So the same over here are uh, the discounted, discounted price equals, we get the unit price multiplied by six, that's our price. And our final price will now equal to the discounted price multiplied by units. Uh, sorry about that, but it's just how it goes sometimes. But I did, I should have read the instructions a little better, I admit. Anyway, discounted price equals a unit price times multiply by 8, 0 0.8 and discounted price and over here now discounted price and this is the unit price and finally the final price okay and else uh, that's basically our discounted price equals our unit price because there is no discount uh, when we purchase less than 10 items so our final price simply uh, just so we can have it uh, kind of the same as the others we'll use the discounted price even though it's actually equal to the unit price all right, so now I have access to it. So price per unit. Now I can uh, do the discounted price. 
which will be the variable discounted price. And finally, as we can output, and that's the balance due. So that's the balance due, and that's actually the final price. Final price. All right, well, let's run it. Let's see how many bugs I have in there. Okay, let's build it, and here it is. So, a software unit sold, let's say, let's just say 10. So, what's the, hold on a second, 10 is, let's, let's do 9. So, that would be no discount at all. So, 9. And it says 9, so the price is 99, which is correct. Uh, because there is no discount, so that's the unit price. 9 multiplied by 99 equals 891, so that's correct. And you can see that it's formatted the way they have it uh, in the uh, in the back. I mean, in the on the right. Uh, I don't have the. I forgot the. Uh, I forgot the um, dollar sign. All right. So uh, on the last two, before right, um, I'm going to simply enter the dollar sign before the word right. So that's gonna be before the the actual number. So this the way this way it's remember this is 25 width. This is not 25 uh, characters. So there will be a bunch of spaces, and then there will be the the dollar sign. Uh, well, let me just show you. So let's just do nine again. And you can see now there's a dollar sign and the, the stars, the filler fills the, you can see how the spaces uh, or the width is filled if it's not a full width, like there's no 25 characters, so it fills it out. Now this number is a little off, that's the software unit sold, because there is no uh, dollar sign over here. So if you look at it, these are all 25 uh, set width, however, the last two are actually uh, they have an extra character here that we didn't account for in this one because this one doesn't have the dollar sign so basically all we have to do is to match it is add that one character make it 26 so if i run it now and uh, do nine now it's all output nicely so uh, since the, its formatting is fine i'm going to set the fill remove the star and just leave a space there and uh, let me uh, do the actually output check to make sure that uh, we got the calculations correct so let, let's just say i enter zero zero should say tell me that it's an invalid input we cannot sell zero and it says invalid response it says, it says invalid so invalid over here so that's correct now let's run it again with some different uh, different inputs so uh let's just do all right, let's just do 100. That's the, that's, we should get a 50% discount. And um, 49 is not 50%, it should be 49.50. And I'm pretty sure that, that this is wrong. Uh, we get 99 divided by two to get the 50% discount, multiplied by 100 units sold, we should get 49.50. And I know what's happening. And the thing is, that uh, over here we have two integers. Unit price is 99 divided by two, you should get 49.50, but you don't, you only get 49. Um, because uh, that's the result of the calculations of two integers. What we can do instead of uh, divided by two, we can do 2.0 uh, to make it a float to make it the decimal and if I do 100 now now I get 49.50 you can see 49 and the calculation is now correct another way and probably even better than doing that uh, thinking about it the unit price probably should be float also because of the output uh, I don't know if you noticed uh, the 99 the price uh, kind of stays without the without the without the decimals uh, 
Oh, it was without the decimals before, uh, when it was uh, just the integer. So instead of doing that, uh, let's just make this float because technically speaking, unit price should be a float. When you change it to 9950 or something, you know, uh, you're still dealing with decimals. So let's just change it to float and that will solve the problem. So when we sell 50 units, uh, we get 40% break. Meaning that if I have a 99 cost multiplied by 0 0.6, because that's the now the discounted price. So that's 59.40, 40, which is correct, you can see here. Multiplied by the unit sold, which is 50, 2,970. So that's correct. Uh, let's check the... Uh, another one, which one was the, that was the 20, that was the 30% break, so let's sell 20 of them. And we get 20% break, so 99 multiplied 0 0.8, which is now the 80% of the original price, 79.20, that's correct, multiplied by 20, so you can see that this is working fine. And uh, let's just do, just for the record, let's do the last one, that's the 20% uh, break when we sell 10 so let's sell 10 and uh, 99 multiplied by 0 0.8 right uh, actually zero, oh sorry 99 multiplied by 0 0.9 because it's 10 percent uh, oh it's supposed to be 20 percent break i think i got it wrong on the calculations here yeah i got 0 0.9 supposed to be of course 0 point eight because uh yeah twenty percent break not ten percent break uh so the uh when we sell from ten to twenty we get twenty percent break so and this one is thirty percent break I messed it up again so this one is the price is seventy percent for that one and eighty percent for this one so it's it makes sense sixty seventy and eighty percent of the price so uh all right, that that should work. Ah, oh, such an easy exercise. I just didn't pay enough attention. That's what happens. So let's sell twenty of them for thirty percent discount, and we get a thirty percent discount means ninety nine multiplied by zero point seven. That's for the price sixty nine thirty multiplied by how many twenty thirteen eighty six. And lastly, the 20% discount when we sell 10 or well, from 10 to 20. So if we do uh, 99 multiplied by 0 0.8, 7, oh sorry, 99 multiplied by 0 0.8, 79.20 and multiplied by 10, obviously 7.92. So this is correct. Now, one thing I wanted to show you was this if statement why I started from the from the top. The reason is that only one of these will be executed. So whatever it finds true, it executes. So if it comes over here and checks, is it greater or equal to 100? If it is, it executes this and ignores the rest. Now imagine like uh, this was my first uh, uh, first thing, let's say I would say, is it greater than, than 10? and the out input would be 100. Well, it is greater than 10. 100 is greater than 10. So it would actually execute this, but this is for the uh, discount when it's of, of from 10 to 20, right? But 100 is greater than 10. That's what it would, uh, you would have to say, unit sold is greater than 10 and uh, unit sold, unit sold is, uh, less than or equal to uh, 19 so you would you would have like a like a range but when you start from the top you don't need the the range because it simply simply goes is it 100 or greater yes or no no okay well is it greater than 50 no is it greater than 20 uh, yes but it's still less than 50 you know that because it was not greater or equal to 50 in on, in this condition so you don't know how much it is, it could be 49, but it still doesn't, uh, this condition would be false, it would go to this one, but 49 is greater than 20, 
so this would be executed so this would give you the range 20 to 49 so the same here let's say you would uh, sell 99 so it would go if it's uh, greater or equal to 100 no 99 is less than that so this was this would be skipped it would come over here is it uh, 99 greater than 50 50 yeah yes it is so okay so now you have a range 50 to 99 because this one was already skipped so that's why it's a uh, I find it easier to simply start from the from the highest condition and go all the way down the, the last one would be simply an else statement so uh, all right so this is it uh, if you like the video even though I made uh, you know few mistakes there uh, because I didn't pay enough attention but I hope you still liked it so you leave a like leave a comment uh, share with your friends and I will see you in the next video take care